all the fences. Bits. Actually, you know what someone asked me the other day? Um, we had a couple big raids, and they asked me if there was any particular streamers or anything that inspired me to start streaming, made me want to do it. And I said, well, yeah, I don't think he streamed for a while, but this guy now going by Bits Kits. I saw what he was doing, and it made me want to do it, too. Hoodie. <sighs> Hoodie. I hope they can see me. I hope, I hope they can see me. You can hear me. Hello. Heidi. Oh. Oh shit. What? Mitchell. Are you? I... Could you help me grab his stuff? I don't have very much room in my pockets. Uh, That's Mr. Sure. White. Do we know where it is? It should be oh, in this my chest. Word. Yes. Welcome to the shit show. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's? <laughs> okay. The failed bank robbery. Okay, it's not <laughs> in here. Okay, shit. I'll where look at it. <laughs> yes, please do. <laughs> it's not in there. I found a cattleman over here. Is that all that he's looking for? I found his cattleman over here. Is that the only thing that he needed? Uh, go ask him. He also did turn himself in a good ten minutes before the rest of you. Yes, but that... Okay, um, was it just a cattleman then? Uh, it was a cattleman and throwing knives. Alright, uh, usually throwing knives don't get stored very well. Uh, yeah, alright, well, I mean, that's fine, I'll take the cattleman. I can. I'll give you a few dollars to buy more. As long as you promise not to commit crimes with them. I'll try my best, if anything. Also, um. Oh, thank you. Um. What is your name, miss? Uh, uh, Deputy Mitchell, sorry. I uh, just got in, haven't put my badge on or anything, actually. It's very nice to meet you, Safdon. Very nice indeed. I'm not sure who it was, but someone wanted to send a message to you through Telegram. I don't remember exactly what it was, either way. Wait, so very went, nice to meet you. Someone wanted to send me a message? Yes, but I, I don't remember. It was a long, long time ago. That's all I know. Huh. Thank you. And you don't remember who it was? I do not, unfortunately. But, if anything, hopefully, in terms of your endeavors... I'll be right back, Mitchell. Hopefully, you stay safe and well. Uh, bye. Uh, same to you as well. Have fun with the circus in there. Hey, so Bob. Mr. White, you fucking. Hello there. Well, Who howdy. might you be? Howdy. My name's Deputy Mitchell. Hey, Pleasure to, to meet you. Meet you. I'm Deputy oh, Mitchell. Oh, who do we have in there? Oh, 
well, it's... Who are you oh, talking it's not, to? It's not Christine. Oh, well, yes, it's me. Why is that so funny to you? <laughs> yeah, devil. Isn't it funny how they took our uh, hostage as well? And then they, they laugh at us. So we... They took Mr. White hostage. Uh, you'll feel... <laughs> You'll feel the meat robbery? Is that what happened? No. Is that what's all. being spread around? That, that, that's, that's what I heard, eh? Gotta be. We, we, are, we were inspecting the bank. Oh, uh, and the inspection so, did not pass. Field bank robbery is exactly what we're looking at. The at bank now. had already been robbed, okay? We got in there, the door, we didn't even have to blow the door open, it was unlocked. We walked in, we opened the safe, there's nothing in there. It was, the worst, it was the worst. <laughs> it was a setup. You know Can't what? It makes sense. It. Mr. White got out early, there was no money in there, it was a setup. Mr. White's in on it. Is that what the law's doing now? Setting up fake banks for people to rob just to see who'll do it, just to make the rest of them? I mean, it's, really, that, it's really not my fault if someone else robbed the bank earlier and you didn't right. pay attention. Where, where was the sign? You have to put up a sign Wait, for we, that No, we thing. don't have to put up a sign. That's one of the hazards that you Here have you to worry are, about. Here you are, Scout. Thank you. Oh, damn it. Have they all already Drake? been charged? Yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, laugh, laugh it up, laugh it up. Throw something at you. Oh, quiet, Christine, Thank you're you. fine. You're welcome, and Wisteria. <laughs> Big old time, this bank has just been run. Is that there you go. Yeah, all citizens stay about away. Something Just so you, you know, Mills, Kaniklo, I mean, there are hazards Kaniklo, Mills, Pip, Alice, and them are in town. Are they? Exactly. They don't care about the exactly. you know, exactly. 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 I don't believe so. I don't so, think so. But I'm, I'm just but they letting might you know just something. in case. I would laugh my ass off if they try to rob the bank. I really hope they try to rob the bank. That would be hilarious. Just oh, tell them, hey, uh, you're the third second <coughs> that's tried to rob the bank today, and uh, you know what? It's empty in there. You're not gonna find anything. Here I am with a goddamn fake beard tatter on my head. <laughs> and they're just laughing at me. When did you change into that? I hear uh, I thought Christine was trying to be a respectful businesswoman, but here she is. I'm trying to shut your mouth. Uh, that rocks. business is. Oh, Sorry, going what, under? what what business is that, <laughs> Christy? My 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 bathhouse is is high class, and regardless of how I spend my days, it's still quite successful. I wasn't saying it wasn't successful. It just uh. Would you like me to suck on your toes? That's absolutely revolting, and no. Put it through the bars. Where's Melvin when you need him? Oh shit! I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to smoke. <laughs> What's happening? I don't know. I do not know. So as far as uh, this spreading beyond law, that's not going to happen, right? What's that? Sorry? Uh, as, as, as far as uh, people talking about this outside of law enforcement, that's not going to happen, right? I mean, people may have seen it happen. I know. Mm -hmm. There's people in town. And there was the hostage who might no, talk no. about it. There was a martial law. There was no people in town. It was successful around. Right? There's plenty of people who come into town uh, during martial law and then they get chased out. But they see a lot of things. A lot of people say things. Uh-huh. Yep, yep. I'm taking names of all you deputies. If I get some slander, I'm coming back. That sounds really bad. That's a hurt? criminal yeah. threat, Fine. by the way. <laughs> that is a charge. Him, charge him for a not, criminal threat. Not in, not in that. I'm coming back to say hi, and why would you do mm -mm. such a thing? You didn't let me finish. You never get well, in I, I will be nice. I'm not going to charge you unless Thanks. something happens days. to one of us. Five more oh, days. I would, I would never hurt a deputy. I hope you, you five more keep days. it that way. I could, but I'm not going to. He deserves it. I was kind enough and gave you a whiskey. I'd rather not have to risk in that kindness. Well, thank you so much, and I apologize for offending. Oh, you didn't offend me at all. Takes a lot to do that. Maybe in the future, don't threaten officers while you're in the jail cell. It wasn't a threat. It was 
a misunderstanding. Right. Woo. This is so much fun. Well, you don't have too much longer, right? Ah, uh, 27 days. <laughs> Shit. It's felt like a lifetime. I've grown so, like three uh, years. Everyone who's uh, been involved in this one has been caught. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you over here. Uh, they realized the bank was empty. Mr. White stepped out holding a cigarette and then uh, handed himself in. And then one by one after that, the rest did. So did Took about... Mr. So was he part of the group? Yes, he was the first member of the group to walk out and hand himself in. <laughs> you all just have them pinned inside the bank? Mm-hmm. They did have a hostage who... Happened to be one Eliza Kerrigan, who Seven they days. then proceeded to point a gun at her head and have her open the safes for them. Ty and Lewis and McGregor were here, so if she was going to get charged, she would have been. I would not place? have charged her for it. No, neither would I have. But they turned themselves in once they realized, and... I was charged it's Sheriff you. Lewis has... Decided to let them have their weapons back. You know, this is the second time in Blackwater something like this with Christine has happened. What are you upset about? Last time it had Awkward Johnson in the group. And it was meant to be a theatrical thing. Alright, it went terribly, but. They said their guns were empty. They didn't have a hostage that time. And once they realized that, I believe it was Holloway, he was making it clear that if they didn't have a hostage, we were mere seconds away from going in there and opening fire. They came out and surrendered. I really like what you've done with your Lancaster, by the way. It is beautiful. Oh, thank you. This is the one that I've uh, had stolen from me three times. You've gotten it back three times? Uh-huh. Uh, what's from, um, what's her face? Bridget. She she turned it in for lower times and fiends. And then uh, Thorn had it on her. Because uh, she, she took it off me. And then um, Dubois turned it in to me. Mm. Yeah, Bridget doesn't seem the type to be uh, super violent towards us. Well, she she uh, took it from me that day. That went inside the um, strawberry mm. sheriff's <laughs> office, and she was in there with. I'm pretty sure it was Morgan. And they wanted me to start taking uh, guns yeah, out there. I, rem I remember that day. Mm hmm. I'm glad you've got it back. Well, it's pretty simple too. It's literally just silver. With silver engravings and I think I'm blocking the handle too. Simple or not, simple can be beautiful. I haven't done too much to my Litchfield. Simple design. Might be a uh, overdone color scheme, but I like it. I'm gonna check the tip line. I went to Fisica and I started a prison riot. Anybody home? Yep. That is not oh, that's that's on um, what's her name's what bucket list? For you, sir? Um, no, no, just she, a ride. Right? Yeah, that's that's what supposed to happen to today. She wants to. Uh... Is that supposed to happen?
she just got released. I was hoping that was Lucius for a second. Watch this. But Hey. Oh, that's a full log, actually. Yeah, that's my log that I carry around. Wait, where did you pull that from? Don't I ask? I'm gonna pick that back up. Someone's spreading the room. That is not a stick. Oh my god. Can we Mallory? That's in my pocket log. No, there's nothing. Oh. What I'm about sorry. our Lancaster? <laughs> <laughs> See, that one's not mine. That belongs to my good friend, and he loves that so much. Well, yes, well unfortunately, so if you had used it in the bank robbery... <laughs> well, he didn't. <laughs> was he a part of the bank robbery? Maybe. What did you say? I said it's bigger than well, the bank if that maybe you know, is a lie. He didn't his gun at anybody. Uh -huh. Oh Either way, odds are it was decided not to be returned. There's no. nothing more I can do for you, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it means so much. Did Mr. White tell you how he got out early? I'm sorry. No. But I'm I will find out. I, I'm, I'm telling you. Nobody has As I said. He Hello, early. Wisteria. Nobody treat. He was the first one to leave with his hands up. Well, thank you, Sheriff. He was Appreciate in on it. You. Is that kind of I'm not there? a sheriff. Oh, we well, should be. It's funny you're aware. Awkward Johnson cage? has been participating in mayoral really race. In a mayoral race in Rhodes. Johnson has declared himself winner by default God, as I all try. other candidates are in Cisco or dropped out. This is not a state recognized vote and therefore it carries no official title or privilege. I have informed him personally that his title is not recognized by the state and therefore will receive no additional authority, nor is owed any additional authority or special treatment. He's a citizen of the crossing as much as anyone else. He can freely choose to try and organize community events and initiatives if that's what he wants to do. If he is found to be exercising undue authority, such as making lawful declarations, trying to make town ordinances. I? Uh, in the. In the box storage we have, could that's, you that's grab the three throwing line knives line from the bottom row for me? Uh, where? Over here? Yes, the one by the by the furnace. Not Wait, that oh. one, the the chest. How much the chest. Oh, okay, here, the chest. Alright, you said box. Yes. That's why I was confused. Yeah, my <laughs> bad. Uh, they're for wisteria outside, I just didn't have room to grab everything. Okay. Telegram Telegram station. Station. You still out here, wisteria? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, it's going to be two of us having to hand you stuff. Okay. I didn't have room to grab everything. I'll give you your stuff first, and then Mitchell the rest. Mm 
All right, there's those. Mm -hmm. And she has your throne knives. Thank you. Uh, here You're we go. welcome. Yep. Thank you. Mm hmm. I'm gonna open the fight. Got the rain down. Get pissed. Target. Oh, come on. Ready, steady. Up. Gotcha. You jumped in front of that one. Gotcha. Now do it back to me. Mm -mm. I know better. Spit on me. Go for it, Drake. No, not you. If you spit on me, I'm gonna have to cut your tongue down. Ready? Yeah. Oh, that's so sorry, but I have a door. No. <laughs> That was a big one. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was incredible. Oh, shit, my fucking head's twisted. Oh, you're all right. She's having a stroke. Or a no, heart attack. No, I'm oh, she's fine. fine. That was a wet one, too. You want one, too? Huh, so it seems Sheriff Silas uh, is willing to let Jack, uh, loosely let and Johnson be the mayor of Rhodes, but it's an honorary, if anything. I do have this, though. Which I mean, I don't want to call themselves that they went, so long as they're not. Uh, yeah. Once upon a midnight dreary. There was a man. What, what is a midnight dreary? Ah! What was that? What? Did anyone hear that? What? Oh. That's you standing on the, the poo bucket. I'm not standing on There's just one even here. Oh. There's not one in my. Yeah, I must have a headache. Actually, there is. Yeah, there's one stuck to your foot. Yeah. Uh, maybe Who's... take a quick. Maybe take a quick nap? You, Christine. Yeah. Effie walked this up to the medical tents and wrote, saw Jack up. Kellerman, walked up to him, and stabbed him in the back. Effie made a statement. I walked up to the medical tent, saw Jack Kellerman, walked up to him, and stabbed him in the back. Okay, I figured I since you guys, Law, tried to kill him, I'd finish the job and do everyone a public laugh? service. Uh, yes. Attempted Let's murder first. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll take a quick nap. They gave her 240 days and 250. Back. Time spent in road cell alongside reduction for turning herself in. Then you take her to Siska. I would have said she's going to Siska. You're going to get out a little bit before me, I think. How much time do you gentlemen have? 12 days. 13. <laughs> I'm in high touch. Yeah. yeah um, so, out of. And Miguel Jones, of, Dr. You know, Clock bank torture. robberies that you've been to, how well did we do out of like 10? Would you say? Emily Jones was in the Blackwater Telegram office you know, when she was approached by Kenley Mallory and a is woman he However, introduced as Sophia. Yes, they asked Jones if she wanted to go on a trip However, and had her pick a location that was in a scale, remote spot. It would probably be an 11. Okay. Oh, wow. Mallory said that he and his friend were interested in going out of the city and going on a trip. Jones took them to Manteca Falls. They hung out, hang, hung back on the journey to talk together while Jones led. Charlotte did not join the procession. But Jones remarks that Dua said she was going to sleep. Most importantly, however, Charlotte seemed to be at of the two. They often darted aside to talk in private with these two, and she left unhappy. During the outing, Sophia saw Kenway start talking about dental work, then asked Jones what she knew about the dentist in San Denis. This is in reference to Dr. Cloth Jones, men mentioned as such in the group arrived at the falls. Abigail stopped, stepped aside to take care of a rock in her shoe. When she looked back, Kenway was on the back of her horse. Mallory got off the horse, apologized, drew a lasso, and tied her up. Jones offered money or to answer any questions they had, thinking this is an issue with the paper. Mallory and Sophia took her to the water. They spoke, asking her about what she knew about Dr. Claus. Sophia pried Jones' mouth open with a knife. Jones resisted, and Sophia stuck her, then pried her tooth out with a knife. <laughs> she then kissed her on the cheek and threatened that if she talked, there would be more presents for Dr. Cloth taken from her. She took the tooth and put it in her pocket and left. Mallory said that, she, that love makes you do strange things. 
He showed apparent remorse for his action. Due to the nature of these actions, their familiarity, I argue that everyone involved should have the charges applied to them. No, Abigail has not worked on any article involving Dr. Claw, nor has a newspaper released any article. She has stated that she has worked on the Tiki Tiki Killings article. Aww. I know, literally everyone has tried, unfortunately, Effie. That is something she said out loud, huh? Like Abigail's played with the same lady that did Ruby. Sam Bass gang kidnapped Coyote and Maria. This information was given by El Coyote as part of a deal. Please handle this case with extreme care and do not discuss it outside the sheriff's office. Please note the Lancaster that Coyote had could potentially be the one stole from Dr. Michael Sullivan, etched with promise. DB2 something. That's absolutely his. You always been well. I came to state and became a cadet day one. Sam Bass and gang kidnapped Coyote and Maria at gunpoint, brought them both to an unknown cliff. Sam threatened to throw Coyote off for reading a letter from Peaches whom Coyote had previously robbed that was written by McGregor. The gang thought Coyote had stolen the letter and were about to kill him. Peaches turned up and said that Coyote had returned the letter and didn't want him killed. The gang instead took Coyote to Cumberland Forest to clear out his stash, taking handcuffs and a Lancaster from Il Coyote. Sam Bass also took Maria to a bank and forced her to withdraw money that she was holding for Coyote. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Scythe. Multiple crimes. <laughs> I love this dossier. Sam Bass's goons. Harper was the only man for the job. He'd have sorted Jack out. Yeah, he should have. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sam Bass, convicted would-be smooth talker and womanizer, has a host of rotating goons that frequent frequent the Keen Saloon. This group have yet to be outward, or outwardly caught doing wrong, but something seems off given some circumstances, as the saloon itself doesn't seem to get enough report repeat patrons to warrant the amount of employees on Bass's payroll. <laughs> Sam Bass has, a, has approached Beck within Pavis on the porch of the Valentine office and asked specifically if the fines and times associated with the production and sale of illegally produced alcohol whilst knowing full well its illegality. Given the nature of Keen's Saloon, I would not be surprised if they are going to be selling moonshine on premises, as Bass has also been remarkably forthcoming with his crimes in the past due to an innate sense of arrogance. <laughs> Max, Brady, Barry, Bjornsson, Edmund, Reddington, Dahlia, Goldie, Adelaide, Hart, Buzz, Blue. American Washington accent? What? Specifically Washington accent? I'm curious. Buzz, Blue, Clint, Roscoe, Patty. Father, Gabriel, and El Dragon. Oh. Confirmed a member by El Coyote. Interesting. I do want to see Cisco one day. Yeah. She said she said we could mine and fish while we're there. That'd be a lot better than this. Can yeah, we this Mallory is, arrest on site? You spot Can we Mallory? Yeah, Older yeah. gentleman, dark skin with beard, wears a lot of purple. He is the detained on yeah, site. Uh, Do not approach alone. Told, one of the deputies told me that Annisburg is worse. It's just a room with no windows. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> awful. Yeah. This is pretty big in comparison. We have better. 
Sales term port masquerade. Maybe I'll clean up. Come to train security man. Whoa. She pleaded. Pleaded guilty, fine, jail time. Include a newspaper, reporter name. Get off my train. What? What? You don't want to know that you did that in there. Uh, yeah. Okay, so how much is in here? Did he pay you today? Nope. Well, that'll almost make up for the robbery once he does. <laughs> oh, man. I hate everything. <laughs> I'm just gonna lay here. <laughs> Next time we'll be successful. No. Stop. <laughs> You're gonna get me in trouble with what you say. That's true. Somebody's running around <laughs> outside of the cell. Because I would get charged. I would go. <laughs> I would say I, no. You stay out there, buddy. We're almost served our time. Oh man, I'm gonna be in my head for just Mitchell, a second. Mitchell, right? Mama just tipped me five dollars. What for? I don't know, but I put it in our office storage. Okay. Sure. Are, just... are you the crap taking bribes? Goodness. No. What do you think <laughs> I put it in? I can store yeah, you can't. You can't even tell that I'm joking with you. No. I know you're joking. I was just. Okay. I put it in the long. I I'm did all this stuff. Insane. So I'm going to go. Um, Give it just no. a few minutes and these I'm two gonna gentlemen go, will be I'm gonna go, out and we can no. go patrol no. somewhere. I'm gonna go kill some things and I'll be back. I'm getting dinner. I'm getting rations. Okay. I'll be back. Hey, Bionic. Time to do some hunting.
Where are all the creatures I need to kill? Yeah, Ferris has the right idea. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, they are all hiding. They heard Saffron's coming for him. I heard Saffron needs to eat. She's coming for you. Scream like Baz. His screams crack me up. It's so funny. I really need to replace my headphone cards. Phones the wrong way. I keep telling myself I'm gonna like just put something on one of these strings so I know which way my headphones are supposed to go. Like turn it, see very faint markings. There, now the elk is screaming from the right side of my head. As in, literally the right side. right way. get three pieces of meat from this buck, we'll see. I guess I'll just buy enough to compensate.
Oops. Modern problems require modern solutions. They're all out. Mm -hmm. I saw them tearing out. Okay. Kai, McGregor, Lewis, and Montana were going to Strawberry. Okay. I'm gonna probably check my tel. I was gonna check my telegrams, and I might be going off duty. Not necessarily going to bed. All right. Well, I'll probably go up to Strawberry then. Okay. You keep safe. Bye. You too. Actually, I want to experiment with those.
Hopefully there's still some interesting crime left tonight, even though it seems to have slowed down majorly. <laughs> Maybe someone will try and rob Blackwater again. <laughs> Folks, bring the lore. Or... Wait, what's going on? None yet. Need... I was just, oh. just wondering who gave the tip off. I have no idea. I came in town not because I saw a tip though. Uh, as as lore here, do you need something? Yeah, yeah. Uh... Yeah, that, I mean, it was just a pack of them. Just took a man out of the uh, medical office here. Okay. Having okay. a nice chat with. Okay. I'll uh, I'll go check on that. Thank you. That's all right. Thank you, Rangers. Disabled. No, no, it's my horse. Oh, okay. Uh, Do I need to put him out the disabled? I probably best. It's just getting really right, crowded in town, so I was clearing out everyone who didn't look quite hatched. But uh, all right, sorry probably, about that. No, 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 it's not your. No, fault. my horse is over there on the tree, uh, next to the were, next to the S. No, it just gets it gets horse. very crowded here, yeah, and sure, it sure. starts you know kicking Oops. up too much dust. I. Fair enough. Whoop. Sorry about that. Ah, they caught him. Is that Mallory down there? Thomas Jones. 
Is that Mallory down there? Yeah. Wait, isn't it Cat? Can we Mallory? Isn't that the name? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yes. Is McGregor's down there with him? Uh, no, McGregor, I saw him leaving. Custy. No more dipties and strawberry. Uh, Sheriff, I'm going to uh, hang my hat for the evening. All right. Uh, Play more good luck. Thank you. Everyone else, I love you. Good to see you too. Night. Well, Take care. wait. Good luck. What? What? Huh? You said good luck to me and have a good night too. What do you I need luck for? Uh, I love you. Whisper. Um. Okay. I guess I can go back down to Blackwater. I didn't come up because uh, anything in particular. Just it was yeah. quiet down there. All right, yeah, you're good to go back. We got it handled here. All right, I think oh, I don't or think anyone anyway elsewhere. That's up to you. Well, it sounds like they've got Valentine. There's no one in Blackwater right now. Yeah, yeah there's probably nobody in well, no deputies in roads at the moment. But we'll be heading there. <laughs> this is sorted, so I don't blame them. If Valentine is okay once we're done here, I'll head to Blackwater. Okay, I'll um, maybe I'll see what I can do there. I hate this, like, being directionless. Like, I don't know. I don't have something to do at the moment. Huh? Sorry, who's Saffron. the name? Yeah, oh, hey. How do you? Saffron. How do you? What? Really quick assessment, okay? Just your opinion, all right? Okay, actually, I want to... Sorry, let me... <sighs> There's friends here. I didn't... There's so <laughs> many people in Strawberry. Come on mm -hmm. up. All right, Saffron, opinion. Mm-hmm. Okay, law opinion, all right? Law opinion, okay. All right. <laughs> if you see a horse riding past you, right, and you are in pursuit and trying to find somebody, but you see a horse, and you're not really sure who's riding that horse, but if it has a lantern and a booty cube on it, what do you think? I'm not going to answer to this. No, go on. No, <laughs> come on. No, what's, what's your opinion on it? I just want to know. What's the first thought that comes to mind? Yeah, yeah if they have a this. lantern on their horse okay. and a booty cube. I, I do admit, if they have a lantern on the horse, I'm going, that's probably not a criminal. God damn it. <laughs> God what did I say? What did I God say? David, no, you're yeah. right. You're right. Camouflage, camouflage. So here's the thing. That's like, isn't that what you think would be the best cover for a criminal if they were smart enough? Like, Honestly, if, put if, a lantern if, on their horse. If, if, it would be very dangerous if they decided to wear uh, uh, ranger uh, ranger <gasps> controls and have lanterns oh. on their horses. That'd be very dangerous. I'm surprised oh, that there's no. been no bank robbers that have done that. To be yeah, to they're not. There's no cleverness. Put that I mean, as soon, I mean as, soon, <laughs> as soon as we're onto it, as soon as we're onto it, we'd be all over it. I mean, you know, we I mean, would just. Yeah, I mean, you put it in the ether. I don't think anyone's gonna pick up on it, but still, clever idea. I don't think they're that clever. No, let's be honest. Here. They're <laughs> not that clever. Coyne, when y'all finish with this conversation, I wouldn't mind talking to you for a moment. Oh, me? Yeah. Did I do something? No, you of didn't course do anything, you did. but... Okay. I uh, just wanted to talk to you, if you have sure. a second. You, you got right, my yeah. money from alone? Hey, did you get my telegram? Let me let me go over this, Avril. I Did you get my telegram? That's a little mask. Oh, what, when, when did you send me a telegram? Uh, earlier. Just go talk with Silas. We'll, we'll speak Okay, all right, okay, all right, all right. Brown. Yeah. I don't know any of these people. That's fine. All right, well, my name's uh, Deputy Saffron Mitchell. 
Mm -hmm. I've nice met you, you before. Oh, well, you said that you don't know anyone. Uh, I, I don't know a few people here. We've uh, we've met Billy Joe doesn't like you, but I think you oh, really <laughs> hates me. Yeah, he hates most folk. People don't like being arrested as mainly. Mainly the issue. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're sweet, though. Aww. Any interaction I've I've seen of you or in passing. I mean, I try you just because I have a badge doesn't mean I'm hurtless. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. And you're a redhead, so I think we could get along. <laughs> <laughs> And this this is this is Emily. So many people in Strawberry, it's kinda ridiculous. Oh, sorry. sorry. Are you a deputy? Uh, I. Do you need something? Just. Uh, yeah, it was me who uh, sent the uh, tip in for that gentleman you were just talking to. Um, one thing you want to know about is uh, when he was talking to the other gentleman inside the uh, doctor's office, before mm -hmm. he went in there, he said, uh, Come on, let's go in there because I can patch you up when I'm finished with you. Wait. Uh, so, okay. So there was another man with him? Yeah, so when you guys went into the doctor's office, there was uh -huh. a gentleman in there, wasn't there? I, I, I was not here when the deputies arrived for that, so actually maybe, how about you come up, do you mind come over to the office and letting one of the deputies who was here uh, know this? Just yeah, so they no can problem. ask any questions. Aye, thank you so much. Uh, what was your name, by the way? It's uh, Mitch. Oh, I'm um, Deputy Mitchell. Oh. Lovely to meet you. Uh, were you here when, were you one of the people who came here to town? To apprehend Mallory? Yeah, I was actually just about to come find you, Mitch. Oh, McGregor perfect, said perfect. Uh, um, you can go on your way. Unless you witness something, you, Aye, you don't need to get a statement. He wanted to let you know of, of something. Yeah, there's one thing which I just wanted to let you know, just purely because it's the way it sounds is horrendous. All right. He um, was speaking to that gentleman called Peter in the uh, doctor's office when you all went in. Yeah. Uh, before he went in, he said, uh, come on, let's go up to the doctor's office because I can patch you up when I'm finished with you. All right, uh, come on up to the office. I'll have you tell that to McGregor. Okay. I think he's the one that's working I on the statement. Get it down right and, and the statements and stuff. I sounds, that's what he I was thought. also questioning one of our rangers about if they had bold actions and he wanted a uh, escort to Big Valley. Okay, perfect. It sounds like I you should give a proper statement to McGregor then because it sounds like he said a few things that might be important. All right, I'll meet you up there in a second. I'll Fix take him up. up. I'll take him up. Let's okay. see. I was just going to tell you something, uh, Mitchell. Oh, I. Uh, it sounds like the way he was trying to lure up one of Wapiti off the road to rob them and hurt them the other day, asking about weapons and stuff like that. So it sounds like he was trying to lure uh -huh. somebody off on their own. What did you send me? Go look at your telegram. I'll okay, be, I need fine. to go do something. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, who's taking statements on everything? On everything? You mean in relation to this? I well, M Mitch here, he's, uh, he heard, he overheard Mallory saying a few things that might be very relevant. So, uh, it needs to be put down uh, in the investigation <clears throat> and stuff. Uh, I'm letting McGregor and Snow handle it since okay. Snow knows the most about it and McGregor was also All right, then maybe him. if we can get one of them out here to take a statement proper, because he's remote. Oh. McGregor, mm -hmm. you might want to take a proper statement from Mitch here. He overheard a few things. Come here, come here, come here. So. <laughs> So there was a failed bank robbery, attempted bank robbery down in Blackwater just a few hours ago, I guess. Maybe an hour and a half ago. <laughs> it was Christine. They went in there and tried to rob the bank after it had just been robbed earlier in the day. And so I they, mean, they yeah. got in there and there's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I said they got through the gate. <laughs> and, 
I'm door was just swinging by its hinges because it's already been blown open and there's nothing in the safes. <laughs> <laughs> So That's I don't know, kind of, if you want to have one of your reporters look into it, I, mean, I just think I'll that would be pretty right. funny. I'll put my I, please, name on it, because I know Christine that. wouldn't be able to find me. This is so they good. Were okay. literally, they were literally saying, hey, no one's going to hear about this, right? This is just... <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that was a no. public event. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, so Mama Christine, who else? Who, uh, anybody else? That... Uh, so I, I don't know. I mean, it's closed to investigation. I should be able to share this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, I've got it right here. Uh, I'm trying to see who, because there's so they, many. They was proper arrested, right? I they was all. Did you <laughs> get them for attempted bank robbery? Uh huh. It technically wasn't a bank. Like it was just a room. Now at this point. Listen, I just I woke up and I walked in the office and there was four people in the cells. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think because apparently there might have been another attempted bank robbery. What day is it today? Today is it's the, 25th. It's the 25th, okay. <sighs> attempted Blackwater. There's been a few attempted. <laughs> See, when they get it early, when that early bird special happens, they just cannot do anything, could they? Right, so they took, so, uh, <gasps> they were apparently struggling with the safes inside. They forced Eliza Kerrigan to crack the safes for them. She was their hostage. Uh -huh. um, and it was Mama, Wisteria, Leonard Scout and Drake, Drake Williams and Mr. Waite. They couldn't find anything inside the safes to rob. So they they were offered the lesser charge of attempted bank robbery if they turned themselves in. Okay, no, one more time. Can you go over those? It was Mama Christine. Uh huh. Uh, last name Wisteria. Uh, a fellow named Leonard Scout and a fellow named Drake w Williams and then Mr. Waite. But honestly, I just I just focus on mum, <laughs> cause cause you know that she's running the bathhouse, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I would focus. Oh, local proprietor, the bathhouse is out there doing failed bank robberies. <laughs> I'm just, I'm sorry, the women tried to murder me. I, if, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I'm gonna write this. This is too good. This is really <laughs> too beautiful. good. Thank you so much, Quater. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <feeling dumb. laughs> See, I feel like this should be like this should be like a close for business sign, you know, like is when someone robs a bank. I just I, no, that's so oh, bad. Oh, I, feel... oh, I, I remember something else. So one time I took this journal off a lass, okay, mm -hmm. and uh, inside her journal she had telegrams written down, and one of them was Mama Christine bank robbery lessons. <laughs> Robber lessons. Uh -huh. This lass had written her name down and her telegram down next to it as big robbery lessons. <laughs> <laughs> so this... lessons, bugging lessons. Okay. I but you know she's feeling big robberies and she's purporting to give out lessons. Wow. I mean that was from months ago. I take that off of a, off that last alley. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely putting this in the paper. That's just too fucking funny to not put in the paper. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Oh. <laughs> yeah, All and right. I'm putting my name on it because, uh, yeah, she could hunt me down. I just don't want Crispin and, uh, you know, Abigail or, you know, Cal to get any heat. But, no, nah, it's, it's funny. Well, I figured you could either do an AP or you could uh, F someone. <laughs> no, no, it's me. No, it's definitely me. <laughs> I'm putting my name on it. Fuck it. I don't care. Right, I hardly ever see her, so, you know, I don't go to Valentine. Fuck that place. <laughs> it's getting worse and worse every day. Yeah, yeah, I've been hearing. How about you? You been doing all right? Um, you know, I'm fine. Just sometimes I don't know Got in trouble what? for going out alone too much the other day. For, I mean, were you off duty, on duty? You were on duty? I was on duty, but my general uh, takeaway from the whole situation is that I should just clock off when I go between towns and not tell anyone where I'm going and then no one can get mad at me. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, alright, fair I, enough, yeah. I literally, I literally put out a telegram saying I'm going to go out to, you know, th there's a, a deputy requesting assistance somewhere. So I said, telegram, go on to provide backup. Go out there. And then the sheriff's going, Saffron was out there riding, make sure you weren't killed because you went out there alone. 
Like, when I wake up and no one's reporting in, saying where they are, what am I supposed to do? When I'm not around anyone, just stand around the office until someone else happens yeah. to come inside. I mean, I don't, I don't understand. Half the time when I'm on duty, there's no one around. Yeah, I made the comment recently to somebody, I can't remember who, but I recently said that a lot of the difficulty that law has is the coordination portion. Because like, here you are, you're all going, all right, we need to get six of us, get on some horses, go off in one direction, right? And so you do that, but you're waiting on one guy getting water, one guy getting food, one guy supplying mm -hmm. himself up with bullets and shit. And it's what like, we really what need, what we really need is uh, secretaries in each of the office who keep track of who's coming in and out of the office, like most Didn't recently. You, wasn't that tried before, like months ago? Oh, I, I feel like. Come. Yeah, it was like when you was a reporter, I feel like there was like two secretaries or something like that. They didn't do very well. It just, you know, they just didn't show up for work. Hey, well, I mean, the sort that you get hired by the government properly, you know, and they're just sort of like the ones who are passing their paperwork back and forth between offices constantly. I feel like that's Beckwith or Molly, you know, like the people that do like, you know, just correct people on the paperwork and stuff. Well, I mean, you know. We have we have the paperwork transcribed across offices. So yeah, I mean, yeah. we've got secretaries work on that all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I mean like I'm saying like you need somebody to like do that constantly, like just always on it so that way everyone's coordinated and shit. Aye, aye. Cause we don't have time to you know go, Oh, I guess we're all here, you know. Mm. And it, no one checks in when they should yeah yeah i know how that is yeah i get that worry about uh, some of the reporters now now i have a little bit of a bigger team that i gotta manage like uh, abigail got a fucking tooth remove I, I crispin's got that. like yeah crispin's got like a concussion i don't even know what's going on with abigail because as soon as i started asking her questions right they wouldn't like pointed reporter questions i was just like what happened what happened to you and everyone that oh, was around her you know miss evigen blackwell um what was it that lena lady and then like you know um, Terry from from the uh, from the Taylors, they all just kind of clamped up, like they didn't want to say anything. They just all shut up and they just kind of like looked at each other pensively. I'm like, what? Did the guy look like great. me? What the fuck? What? So what? great. I just, you're describing the new Blackwater crowd. I'm afraid it's going to be another roads where everyone just sort of gets insular, doesn't talk to outsiders, doesn't talk to the law. I mean, goes, oh, a reporter, they might say something. I mean, Abigail's a reporter, and I w work out of Blackwater, so I'm basically living there as well, too. Most of my time spent in the Telegram office. They know who I am, but it's just like they didn't want to say nothing. I said, what the fuck is going on? How did you lose a tooth? And it slowly came out some woman, you know, in a you know flappy kind of like white shirt and dark hair. Took Abigail's tooth or something like that. I read the report. It's real messed up. Was it just a tooth? Because she was just like, you know. As far as I understand, but I can't even come at that one, you know. Yeah, but think of it this way. This is this is my this is my my thought on it, right? She she gets a tooth removed. Mm -hmm. I think you and I have been in the crossing long enough that we've had cannibals, murderers, uh -huh. two wars that we've witnessed, a whole mess load of other things, bank robberies, petty crime, guns go off, things like that. A woman loses a tooth and the entire town is scared it's a tooth like it was still an, it, it's still an instant of torture though i know but like you and me i just feel like we're desensitized because like at first i heard it i go oh I, i'm sorry you know like it's oh i i don't kind of i think that i that's very trying <laughs> I mean, you the got, picture you, you in my head is you that she got, she got smacked real hard. That's, no, that's what no, it seemed like. No, It was no. torture? Aye. Okay. That just changes it. But I just, the way they made it out to be, it was just some woman, like, came around and just yanked a tooth out of no, her No, it was, it was a very, uh, I'm so, I kind of, you know, it's, it's all under investigation, that sort yeah, of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, No, it's that's, all right. It's very much definitely a torture situation, though. So, oh, shit, do yeah, handle right. it with a lot of sensitivity, I suppose. It's... I mean, if they're willing to talk about it, yeah, sure. No, I, I no, I, I, no, I know. I'm just. <sighs> I mean, I don't. I'm. You know me. I'm not trying to be unempathetic, but still, it's just uh, they, they're not giving me a lot those, to work with. That is one of those situations where they're probably I... very afraid that the people who did it are gonna try and come back. So, 
the le the less I can mention, the better. Until we've got right. these people behind bars. Right. Because uh, okay. it's a situation where retribution is fear, is is uh, you know, possible retribution as issue. You know, if you tell anyone about this, we do this sort of stuff. Right. So that would be probably one of the reasons why she didn't want to say too much. Yeah. All right. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Well, at any rate, she'll get better soon and uh, get back to reporting. Apparently, uh, I have to make her talk to the marshals because I talked to the marshals. The marshals are like, no, you got to make her do it. I was like, okay. The marshals? Right. Yeah. She wants to interview Gavin Summers. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I want to do that back in the D. Yeah, I did it. So, you know. But, I mean, you could still do it. You just got to go downstairs. So, whenever you go to Siska. Uh, aye, but there's no point in me interviewing him. You know, I, I can't go writing a paper about it. <laughs> I mean, you could poke him. I could do what? You just poke. He's, in, he's inside a little tiny box. No windows. Right, right. I know, I'm just yeah, saying just... there's no point in me doing it. Yeah, all right, fair enough. <laughs> lackluster satisfaction and you know watching a caged animal just like you know slowly deteriorate mentally all right fair enough um, i've got mixed feelings on that actually i've got a yeah. great deal of compassion for people who are facing a hopeless situation like extremely lengthy incarcerations or life in prison I, my heart goes out to them i mean even if even if these monsters no because in the end we're all human I feel like that's probably the one one of the worst tortures that you can inflict on another person. Boredom. I can't. I can't. I've been incarcerated before, and that was bad enough. But right. being solitary. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's that's a truly terrible thing, and it's we're social creatures. It's not the way things are meant to be. We weren't meant to be locked up. All right, you know what? You got a fair point. Yeah. I'm not saying that uh, it's never just, you know, like I don't, I think that there's definitely people who are not meant to be in society, they can't be, they've proven that they can't be, mm -hmm. you know, but it's still, a, I think it's a tragic situation at someone who's throwing their life away. Maybe they're throwing away the lives of others too, but they've definitely thrown theirs away. Yeah. I think that's the thing is that I always have to say it too, is that you have to understand the consequences of your actions, so. Mm -hmm. And his definitely caught up with him, so. Aye. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoy that story. I'm definitely <laughs> okay. going to write it. I'm definitely going to write it, and you're going to see it in the paper. Uh, and I'm, I'm so excited. And I'm not even going to give two fucks. Like, Christine can come at me and just be like, what did you write that for? And I, I'd be like, I'm surprised you even fucking found me. So uh, all, all her friends are like, so um, that no one's going to hear about this, right? <laughs> and then I walked out the door and I sent you that telegram. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. I mean, they are all arrested. So, open invest you know, it's, it's not an open investigation anymore. <laughs> yeah. It's all, yep. Yeah. Mama Christine, Wisteria, Leonard Scout, Mr. White, and Drake Williams. Mm-hmm. Well, but, you know, just uh, don't don't mention that you got it from me, just in case someone's going to get their no, knickers no, in a no. twist, you know? No, 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 mm -hmm. no. I, I got it. Don't worry. <laughs> I got it. All right. I'll probably get back down to Blackwater. Hope sure. that All right. there's something I can respond to, but not alone, so I don't get in trouble for handling something alone. Who knows? I mean, I didn't see it if you went alone, so... Huh? You just appear. I, I didn't see it if you went alone. I, you just appeared there. <laughs> oh, I just was in Blackwater the entire time. Hey. Just be like that. Yeah, there's still people in there. All right. Thank you, Saffron. Hey. <laughs> I love how broken Ian gets. Uh, what did he want? What did Griner want? Oh, we're just catching up. You know, newspaper okay, nothing about Nothing about this though, right? Oh no, definitely not. Okay. Okay. Man seen fleeing hanging dog ranch with eye patch and snakeskin jacket. Multiple gunshots heard. Horse had a weight mean. Possible casualties. Uh, I think that we probably need to go over to... To hanging dog. Yep. Why don't the three, three of you do that? Yep. 
I'll go send a tip saying that we're going out there. No. All right, uh, we're going out to hang a duck. Uh, who else uh, is coming? Where's Chris? Where's uh, Sheriff Christensen? Thought he was coming too. Uh, Keep our voices down, please. Who said that? No. Oh, if you see, uh, you know Barry Bjornsson. Hi. All right. Uh, if you see him, arrest him. Okay. Right, gonna go pretty fast considering uh What's going on? I'll take up the tail. Hanging dog, possible. I uh I was the first one to read the tip. Nick. Cute. I have no idea. We'll find out. Mind the snake up here. Slowing down. Slowing down. Saving the horses just in case we do have to give pursuit to anything. What'd you say? I said I'm saving the horses just in case we do have to give pursuit. Yep, always the best idea. I said it was one man that was seen fleeing. I, uh, snake skin jacket horse with a white mean. But there might be casualties here, so we need to check here. Yep. Saints Cross and Sheriff Department, is there anyone around here? Is there always this many wagons here? Yeah. Aye, uh, aye. It's a lot of junk. Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department, if you're around, please make yourself known. Are you clear of the building, eh? Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department, if you are inside, make yourself known. You will be, if you do not respond and you are seen inside the building, you will be deemed a threat. Maybe event with lethal force. I don't see anyone through the windows. All right, reaching. Left clear. clear. over here on the right. Careful of the, careful of the loft that's above us. Aye. I well, I definitely covered. remember that from our drills at this very place. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cover Back the loft, loft while someone goes upstairs, aye? I'll go up. Stands across the sheriff's department. We got a body. Oh, great. Sir? Check him over first. Okay, I'll start... I'll start packing this. <coughs> <coughs> Do you know what 
know who he is? No, I don't recognize him. Okay. You recognize him, Sheriff? No, I don't. What's it look like? Multiple gunshot wounds? Aye, three of them at least. Does this window usually have a pane of glass in it or no? No. Alright. He's slowly bleeding out. Alright. Do you think that you can move him? I packed his wounds. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we don't have much choice. Oh, wait. Is this... Is this Marquis? Is it Marquis? Is this some identification lane or something? I'm trying to get a look at it. It does look like Marquis, though. All right. Oh, All right. Uh, I'll bring else. my horse around. Someone will be able to identify him. Uh, I can carry him, probably. Aye, I just, I don't you mind. Keep your it's, rifle it's out a just in case. It's easier for you than it is for me. Yep, just in case somebody comes. I. <gasps> Is he wanted right now? I'm not sure. There's a crate here. Were there any doctors in Strawberry when we left there? Do you know? There might be. We I'm should not probably sure who go was back all there. I'm not sure who was all standing on that porch. No, there's a lot of people in town, so... Uh, All right, check the barn it. really fast. Yeah. Saints Cross and Sheriff Department, is there anyone inside the barn? If there's anyone inside the barn, make yourselves known. All right, I'll take left, you take right. Got it, let's go. Clear over here. Clear over here, Mind going upstairs. upstairs. I just check real quick, I want to do our due diligence. Upstairs clear. Okay. Alright. Just want to make sure it's clear in there, so let's get that. Yep. Let's go. May encounter wall, so let's be extra careful. Okay. I'll bring up the rear. Alright. Alright, you're gonna start out quickly. While we're out in the open and clear. Seem like he still had a pulse and all that. I he was still bleeding. Alright. Wolves! No, don't! <sighs> Is everyone okay? Ow. Yeah, we're alright. Are you alright? Just, you know, are we. Don't bluff my horse, okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I yep, shot it, right. so. I shot it and then my horse decided to toss me. Yeah. That was a quick reaction. <laughs> Good thing it's just the one. Because there's some time. Aye. Thanks. Mini moon. All right, slowing down. Slowing down. Which is just as well because it gets windy here. Uh, taking left here. Okay. Oh, 
down a little. Psst. Shoot! I'll make it around him. It's ridiculous, the horses in this town sometimes. Oh, uh, we got medical here. Good. Looks like yep. Marky. You don't need a perimeter, do you? A, a perimeter? Uh, I don't know. Like, uh, unless they come back? What the fuck God happened to him? him? Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what I, I thought. Okay. I'm not quite sure. I We're not quite sure what happened to him. Great. Okay. Mm. Well, I'll yell if I see anything. Okay, thank you. Do we have any idea what's happened? Uh, he's been shot three times. I packed his wounds as best I could. Okay. Could you just real quick check for me if the gentleman over there needs dealt with? If he does not, could you just okay. check him uh, on the grass to kind of wake up on his own? Uh huh. I Between the it. two buildings, mm -hmm. yeah. Like he's just uh, sleeping off a hangover. Yeah. Or could one of you um, update the medical line and let them know that I'm here? Okay. Uh, and until further notice, basically. Fine. I'll take care of it. Wait, it's not. No. <coughs> Is that phone? Aye. Aye. Are we uh, ready to transport him? Okay. Um, we're dealing with. So Marquis was found uh, shot up up there at Pronghorn. So I'm, I've got to update the medical lane. Hang on. Okay. The, the way yeah, works. yeah, the, the medical line, yeah, they're, they're working on implementing some for the medics, but right now they don't have it implemented yet, so we have a temporary Discord, uh, that we post it to. If we can make it work, rather try and transport it. Uh, so right now it's you and McGregor transporting? Uh, I don't know, McGregor said he had to go. Oh, he said he had to go to bed? Okay, um. Uh, no, just had to go. I could go with him if you don't need me here. Yeah, one of us should stay and see if we can find out what happened here and one of us can go. Aye. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty clear probably Ty Pan shot him up. I don't know if that, uh, uh... Wait, what? Is obvious or not? Ty Pan will, will want to try to free him, you say? Well, I know Ty Pan are the ones who shot him up. Uh, it's my suspicion. Shot who? Oh, up? here? Marquis, yeah. All right. Well, uh, we'll get what we. I'll get what we can, and uh, if you two want to take him to Cisco. 
Okay. McGregor didn't say at all where he was going. No, he said he had to go. At least that's what he said to me. I well, you can take me or you can take Claymore, whichever. I I don't mind which one. I do tend to try and stay over here. I'm stationed out here, but I can whatever I'm needed. So, hey Bert, I'll, uh, you don't I'll have take a diamond. I guess I haven't seen him around, so I don't know where he is. If you I guys do. Oh, he took a little nap, so he should be back. Uh, okay. He might have forgotten to clock himself back into the clipboard. He might be over at the telegram station or the office. Hey, electricity. Uh, all right. All but right. yeah, I guess with how many we have, two is probably better than sending three or four. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. go right, ahead thank and take you. Claymore. Yep. If you can't find him, let us know. All right, I will. I know how it feels getting FOMO. No, you're. Uh, Why are you apologizing? Like at the moment. Hell, I uh, can't. S how the hell you spell his name? It's M A R Q U I S, I believe. I M A R Q U I S E. Maybe with her without the E, I'm not sure. Yeah, you don't have to apologize for not being on, Bert. It's kind of late for you, too, isn't it? Like, How can I not... ...find anything with you? I want to join you guys. We'll go over to Wild RP. Well, he's not on the wanted list, but I wanted to see if there was anything. Uh-huh. But I'm not seeing anything at the moment, so I guess... Alrighty, I'm gonna go yeah. and transcribe that you know that we got regarding this. All right. So we can put it in that. I see nothing. <laughs> I guess you could. I'm, I guess you could say it was paid me. I don't know. Uh, the website right there details how to get signed up for Wild RP, if that is something that you wish to do. Oh, pff, I can't do it here. I have to go to the sheriff's office. Durr. Deputies have keys to get in. That's funny. Robbery gone wrong. Two men just tried to very poorly rob me in the Valentine Telegram station. Montana's here with me. I drew my gun as soon as I saw a mask and things escalated into violence. Wow, this person is so cowardly. They sent the tip about shooting him from Armadillo. Oops, sorry, second. Uh, how is uh, he doing? Is he being worked on? Uh, I. Uh, did you did Snow get with you? Yeah, I'm okay. gonna go uh, prepare him for now. Is uh, was that Marquis? I'm pretty sure, right? Alright, is he uh, being tended to? Oh, yeah, of course he is. I mean, I didn't know if, um, I had to take a nap. I didn't know if uh, everything was in order. 
I'm gonna go get uh, him ready for transport. If you could turn around and up like you untouch. No, you'll be red just like this then. Yeah, can you turn around? Uh, I've got the transcription here, so I'll update the paperwork. If you've started, uh, did you start an instant? I have not started as of yet. Okay, I I'll start. No, collect what we have from I'll him. start when that's fine. Um, oh, Saffron's eyes are green. Hi, they are. Good, good not a live them. You should know that uh, tap was sent all the way from Armadillo, so apparently whoever sent him was so afraid they wait till Armadillo to send out. A very interesting. Mm hmm But, uh... Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. We got, we got the, uh... Huh? Are you looking at her paperwork with those binoculars while she's No, I'm looking at a hat. No, I'm, I'm angling it like... so that he can't see what the paperwork yeah. says. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out, like, what these symbols on a hat are. There's, like, a flower, and there's, like, a snake, and then there's a flower, and then there's a snake. You know, some, sometimes... I think it's just flowers just and snakes, just eh? Decorations, yeah. Wait, hold on a second. Can you slightly... Oh, wait, you are slightly facing me. Okay. Wait, can you slightly... Oh, wait. What are you... I'm looking at the badges now. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Do you have binoculars, Silas? Uh, yeah. Yeah, look at, look at Saffron's badge. Well, I'm I just am under such examination right now. Well, I'm just trying to do my job. Goodness. I, I, I'm not <laughs> taking out binoculars so I can stare at, at a deputy's badge. I just feel like they're branded incorrectly. I, I don't. What's a Bowles Overland Special Agent? <laughs> what? I think you're. I think you're seeing things. Nope. Definitely seeing things. Has he been drinking tonight? I guess. I think he needs not overthink to not overthink things. Uh, uh, Maybe I should stop using binoculars because they're a bit too powerful in my hands. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. probably. Well, anyway, hope that guy in there feels better because uh, that's some shit. Well, he has locks. Steady hands, so. It's good. Steady hands. Blue shirt underneath looks really interesting with that coach lost It's like you got bright, bright blue bands. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna do you. It, it it's it's corner. You can't really do much. He's just kind of been that way forever. Huh? What's he been forever? Corner. It, Whoa. It's not even. It's... It, it, <laughs> It, it's just, it, it's just, he has his own classification. What is he doing? No. I have no idea. No clue. Don't ask questions. Steady hands. No, that's not steady hand. Let's see if I actually finish writing this update to this report or not this time. Or someone else is going to wrap on this port to tell me I need to go somewhere. 
Wait, do you need something from me? Uh, it's like no. when I do that one dance. Uh, Saffron? I. I. Do we want... Do we want to get him up here or get him up somewhere else? Uh, he should be fine here. Uh, he's not okay. going to anything, so... Okay, perfect. I just want to double check. Nope, thank you. I typically will try and have you treat them in the office if we think that might be the case, but, you know, it's good. Thank you for checking in, Yeah, <laughs> well, that doesn't always happen, so I'm always a little wary about it. I appreciate the dance moves, though. Thanks. Do you need anything, Lark? Um, no. I need to have a conversation with uh, Jonathan Coiner here in a minute, and then after that, if you would like to, you can come along with me on a medical patrol. Uh, Alright, that works. Perfect. So, uh, I would say stick around town if you can, and I'll come find you soon? Mm-hmm. I'll be at the lodge. Okay, perfect. I do. I don't know most do. Dramatic fall. <sighs> if he doesn't seem like he's going to wake up in the next couple of minutes, I think I'm going to go ahead and start the paperwork okay. uh, and let him come to on his own time. Aye. Good morning. God damn, where the fuck am I? What, what the yeah, There's been a little bit of an incident. You're in Strawberry. My name is Senior Dr. Lark Atwood. Uh, I've been treating you today. I know you might be in a fair amount of pain. Yeah, this shit painful here. Yeah. Um, I can get you... A little bit of uh, a little bit of pain relief there, if you would like. Yeah, I'm gonna need this. Shit. I'm gonna need this shit in the boat. Okay. Have you had anything to drink today? Yeah, no, I'm thirsty here too. Okay. Um, then if the deputy doesn't mind, I might give him a dose of morphine. Um, just a dose, deputy. No. Come on, now. No, I'm not saying. <laughs> I mean, we just want to try and find out what happened to you. But uh, I. I uh, I okay, to be I can unnecessarily pain. So what I can do is uh, I can put a little bit of uh, a numbing cream over the uh, over the wounds, and then once it's she's weak. done asking questions, then you can come back and we can get you some uh, a dose of morphine for you. I know. Perfect. Let me go ahead and do that. Can I at least get some water? I'm thirsty here. Hey, of course. You're not, uh, you're not in trouble or anything right now. We're just trying to help you out, sir. Alright, but well, that's good. Let's see. I know that I'm lucky. Look at those boots. They look very curled. <sighs> What's going on?
Silas? Uh, I heard a gunshot. Okay. Not sure from where. What's... There's a gunshot? I don't know where it came from. Um, we were at the lodge. Didn't, it didn't come from that direction? Mm -mm. No. Why well, you heard it from here? The inside, make yourself known. Okay. Got it. Uh, is there a... Uh, Y'all hear a gunshot? Yeah, it was like from that yeah. direction. All right. Thank you all. Okay. All right. They come from it. You see anything around? I don't know. Everyone's kind of pointing <laughs> in circles. It's kind of weird. Hey, uh, hey all. it's very hard to figure out where that stuff comes from. I have a very hard time understanding where gunshots are coming from. So yeah. Well, I guess if, uh, could be if something haunted something, nearby. It's something obvious. We'll deal with it. That was definitely loud, so it's kind of weird. I, I, I didn't hear it at all. So I say they're funny like that. Yeah. All right. Um, Marky, are you able to tell me mm. what you remember? She. Oh, we should keep our voices down. Aye. Oh, y'all want me to keep my voice then? Yeah, hey. we, just so folks uh, over here. Yeah, y'all might want to step a little bit close. Yep. I. Yeah, see. I mean, I can't even talk loudly if I want to. I'm in a lot of pain right now. Fuck. I can. I can be up. Yeah. Well, I can't really remember what happened. So we can't really help you out with this shit. All right. Um. All right. What is the last thing you do remember? Uh, place you were, things you were doing, stuff like that. Mm. Check my telegrams and Emerald Ranch and they wrote off pretty much. Do you remember if you got a telegram from anyone? Nah, it was it. We get no telegrams from nobody. We just check. See, you said the last thing you remember was being at Emerald. Yeah, Emerald Station. We found yeah, you. Gonna... you. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say we found you at Hanging Dog Ranch. Damn, that's a bit of far away from man from Emerald, huh? Shit. Yeah, you weren't gonna meet anybody or anything. Yeah, no, I had no plans to. So, what were you planning to do? Do you remember what you were planning on doing when yeah, you left Emerald? We were just checking my telegrams and then was pretty much just riding off. Thinking about going, doing some hunting or some shit like that. Pretty much it. Is there anyone in particular that you would think would have cause to hurt you? Shit, I Who'd got a whole list of want to try and kill you? Yeah, yeah. You got time? All right, well, let's start with the ones who you think would be most likely to do it and actually carry it out. See, all of them. The entire cross wants to kill you? Day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, any particular gangs you've had? You know, uh, maybe you accidentally slotted them or... Uh, you know, said something that might... Or even they might believe that you said something. You know how mm -hmm. they can be with rumors. Yeah, no, everything happens for a reason. So can I get that water? I'm really thirsty. Oh, Wait. I'll give it to him. I'll give it okay. to him. Okay. Uh, you, you can't you think of anything else that might be relevant if we're trying to find out who did this to you? Mm-mm. Can't really think of much. Okay. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Any other questions, Sheriff? Uh, uh do we have? Uh, can we get your telegram number, just in case we oh. have, think of anything we could ask you about, or maybe check in with you later? Uh, yes. Yeah. Ready for it? Hi. Take in, take in the letters T and T, but remove the T and the N. So tyrannical navigator. Right, T N. Yeah, they're the one. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, seven six four right there. Seven six four. You. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um. Hi. Trying to. Uh, I'm sure the doctor. I think she said that she could give you more pain medication. Uh, she just wants you to be sharp so that we could speak with you. It's all good. She. Let her come in. I need that morphine real quick. Look. All right. We'll get. Uh, we'll get it for you. I uh, appreciate it. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Lark, he's ready if you need to give him morphine. Yeah, I'm just gonna give him a dose. Okay. Is there is there a lot with the morphine? Yep, okay. Have you, you ever had this? it have you ever had it before? She. Yeah. Okay, alright. So no allergic reactions or nothing like that. Yeah, no, no. Alright, then I'm just gonna give you one standard dose. Mm -hmm. Um and that should hold you over until tomorrow. Uh. Just gonna be a little pinch. Alright, see. I'm ready for it. You gonna tell me to think about like bees or something? Quainer, are you crunching on something right next to my head while I'm trying to read? I'm sorry. No, I, I find it no, fun. Yeah, you know what? You, you ain't wrong, and they jump, and then, you know, yeah, it gets messy. Put the ankle between two sides. Sorry, but this leg, I ain't jumping at all. Fuck. <laughs> well, Don't be careful you're making your way home. That'll hurt what for? Why, why would I kill you? Because I'm obnoxious. Yeah, very careful. Very careful. Easy step. Listen, I don't kill people, much less for being obnoxious. If I killed people for being obnoxious, there'd be a lot more dead people in the crossing. Yeah, you're right. See y'all around. Fuck out. I, 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 I don't want it too far with that morphine. Maybe rest right. in the hotel here. Right, I'm gonna I'm try. I'm gonna try going on this rain real quick. Oh, oh. One. Oh, hold on, hold on. Two. Ah, pretty it. Okay, corner. I'm done. So, here's the question. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to sponsor the next one? Um, it would be helpful as my bank account had nothing in it as of yesterday. Oh, so you did the right you did back. my run uh with the money I gave you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. I got you. No worries. I got it. Thank you. Yep. Full grand. One again. I got yeah, you. I one of these Good lord, what are you doing? Money. I'm giving you everything in my pockets. No. Why? Because okay. you don't get paid enough for what you do. Okay, alright. Also, I wanted to make your race and I didn't. I forgot, forgot I was too busy. I couldn't do it. But maybe well, another one. I'm hoping to do every week at 8 and see if it just gets traction. I mean, it, it's over quick. It's it's half an hour to 45 minutes. Uh, people can come, they can do a little bit of something, then they can leave, and, and so it shouldn't feel like too much of a drag. It's just getting people out there is so difficult. One well, these days I'll be able to make it. I'm mad I missed it yesterday. Yeah, well, yesterday there was also- but, uh... Well, I'm also, there was a bank robbery in Blackwater I, where everybody wanted to go was. I tend to be, um, I tend to be up later, you know, like, eight tends to be about, like, the earlier you'll see me, so it's hard for me to keep up with stuff happening at that time. Especially now that yeah. they've removed, they've gotten rid of the old message boards where we could find out about events. It's very hard <laughs> yeah. for me to plan for anything. That's been, that's been my biggest problem with getting people to show up is uh the poster boards are gone uh, no if no no offense quainer but there's not enough sometimes you need detailed information for an event and there's not enough uh, space in that for look, a look, for in I'm the newspaper not, i'm not gonna be a proud son of a bitch and be all you know oh yeah i love doing events because the events take up so much goddamn space in the paper and it's just i love doing it you know don't get me wrong but it's just Sometimes it overlaps and the events take over the paper quite a bit. I've been trying to ask for like another page, so I don't know. Yeah, an events page would be nice. Like maybe a, a, a calendar or something. 
I mean, progress is progress. Eventually, we're going to get some, you know, better in the future. But, you know, for now, uh, this is where we're at. So, I'm getting used to it. Yeah, so let's say 500 for next week. Uh, not a thousand? If you want to sponsor a thousand, yeah, you're... I can, yeah, I can sponsor <clears throat> a thousand. That. Okay. I can see it. What happened? Sorry? Nothing. nothing. Yeah, nothing, okay. apparently. Nothing, nothing at all. Uh... Did we get, uh... I wrote medical... stuff up, but... Alright. Mm -hmm. Uh, see, if there's something I want to look at there in the office. Uh, Alright. But you, uh... Hmm? Oh, I see, in this office you're talking about. Aye, sorry. Wh were you talking about something uh, else? We got, we got the... Locks report about it. Oh, uh, no, I haven't. Uh, Lark, yeah. is there anything that you wanted to say about that Is treatment? there anything peculiar about Aye. it? Anything that stood um... out? He had two separate kinds of uh, damage to his shoulder. There was uh, a shotgun and uh, a shotgun wound and what seemed like a sidearm round. All right. Uh... Do you think that those could have been taken at different times, or uh, are you not able to tell? Were you not able to tell? I think it was probably, I mean, it was obviously two different weapons, but it seemed like it was the same time. They both seemed fresh. Okay. Uh, one of them wasn't, you know, starting to, you know, scab over or get, you know, strange or anything. That's all we'll need then. Thank you. Yep. No did you, worries. Uh, did he pay you anything? Uh, I just got paid. So it's okay. Alright. <sighs> well, I guess we should check to make sure that you're not needed somewhere or not needed somewhere. Mm -hmm. The way things go this evening. Yeah, if I'm needed anywhere, just grab me. I'm hoping to grab Coiner for just a moment. Um, Alright. So oh, if... Yeah. Perfect, thank you. Yep, yeah, uh, if you will. Yeah, you as well. Don't work too hard. I'll try. And, uh... Hopefully the transport went all right. Aye. Anything on the tip lane? Um. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like something for an investigation. Do we know anything about that already? Maintain rounds know? are being coordinated and run out of Everon Branch. Stolen guns are being sold there as well. Felt his name Boone and Monty seemed to be the head of it all. Uh, I know that ages ago Molly found crates of main chain stored in the saloon there. But I mean, it makes sense. That's probably one of the most common. Uh, There's a general report about this too, actually. I mean, they're probably taken from the wildflower there, you know? Because it's yep. right there. Uh, this is from. Her. 
five days ago. At the wildflower. Obloom Distillery. Blah, blah, blah. Why is this a general report? It's probably like the first report he wrote or something. What were the other names on there? I... Uh, hang on, let me take a look at it. Fellow's name Boone and Monty seem to be the head of it all. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll write up an investigation and see if we can get somebody to take up on it. I mean, we've always known that they're doing. It's a lot of criminal people hanging out there at Emerald. Right. It's been uh, quite ever since uh, Billy Joe Barber's not been around, but it's still. Uh, I mean, that's the first place that Sam Bass told me had a job. Maybe I'll just add it to that other incident that was already written up. <sighs> list. Mary Bjornsson, Goldie Adelaide Hart, Braithwaite, Baller Twins. That one I need to actually look up because I was curious about them. I don't know who the hell they are. I never heard them before. We haven't seen Kayla Lean in a while. Oh, they kidnapped Cash. Wait, who kidnapped Cash? The, the Baller Twins. Freeman kidnapped and robbed Sheriff Cash and Abigail Jones. Precious Cargo. Is this somebody in the crossing named Precious Cargo? I've heard of the name before. I either is. Good not. <laughs> it's sort of ridiculous. Everybody's got to have a shtick these days. Hmm. I wonder who uh, tried to rob Marlow. There. I'll cross check those descriptions. <sighs> I 
Description of the man who paid them to do the job. Tall, deep, raspy voice, black hair, dark clothing, tall brown hat and long, dark coat. Law is not above their power, however they claim to be. Sandinese sends their regards. What? Two men, Sergei and Nikolai Volvolsky. Yeah, well, she had her uncle or something, right? He's dead though, wasn't he? Yeah, I think he got... He got uh, executed. Hanged in Valentine, didn't he? Oh, he was executed. Hmm. Honestly, this just sounds like a... an excuse from them. Haven't they been... They've done crimes before, haven't they? Sergei? That sounds... familiar. Actually, I wonder. There are two people with the Russian accents who robbed the bank mm -hmm. with that real fella uh, last week or the week before. I don't know. Where is uh, what the hell's their name? Was it Alexei? Rustin. Uh, Ra Rastislav. Rastislav I, yeah. And Alexei. Mm hmm. So I'm not sure if it's them or these two. Barry Bjornsson. He runs with the bass and crew. Mm -hmm. The one who is I've run ten few times. Apparently, not too subtle about his crimes like the rest of them. <laughs> I haven't read the official report, but he said uh, he asked if it was Bjornsson, uh -huh. and he said, "Yeah." Mm -hmm. He also dis he dresses very distinctly. No one else has a patched blue coat like that. Hmm. Well, I guess we're not getting much out of the marquee. No. I need to actually look at. Uh, he was either playing a lot of. <sighs> he really just was not going to give us anything. Oh, they arrested. Oh, okay, those two were arrested, but we didn't know who the ones that hired them were. Was that a question? Oh, please tell right. me that's not what I think it is. Probably just moonshine. Better be. All right. Heading this way. <laughs> They're always headed this way from New Hanover. Every single one of them. There's three different routes they can pick. And yeah. Do we want to pick one or? Well. Are you heading off to bed? No, I'm not heading off to bed. I, I'm, I'm fresh. Uh, I'm just. It's sort of annoying because we can either go up and try and wait before the cattail, because this could be the one coming from the well, wildflower area. Or we could go out and hope to catch him at the near thieves, or uh, go into the one that's down the hill from here. Hmm. So it's 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 really bad. Like there's no good answers. Although I feel like cattail is a very common one, but they could be leaving from near Valentine too. So. Back in the day, they just always ran past the bars landing there. The birds crossing there. This one, yeah, they, they really awesome. don't need to on e any of these routes, so. Uh, I guess pick one at uh, whatever one you want to go with. Uh, let's go up to the, the one going to Cattail is popular, so let's hurry over there. I'll show you where I like to set up. All right.
and they should be not too long after we get out there if that is the one they're taking. Alright. Riders. 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 Howdy, howdy. 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 Howdy, Mitchell. Huh. Is that Rangers? Yeah, I saw at least one green poncho. I <laughs> heard Howdy Mitchell is the pass, so. Oh, did they? <laughs> oh, they, it might have been Mitch. Because, you know, name sim similarities and all that. Rider. Yeah, my horse. Need the rest. Aye. Well, we're we're about here, so. Uh... All right. They like to come along the tracks here, oh, but here uh, we can mine the tracks in front of us and the road behind us because they can take that ring road behind us or they can go along the tracks. If they're trying to be sneakier, they'll probably take the road. And it is, like, it's a wee bit shaky, but there's two ways you can get down to the tracks from here, so just be careful. They've got to get through that tunnel and get over to the other side of that berm to get to the drop-off point. I hate Shane coming from New Hanover the most. Yeah, it's hard to uh, get a fix there's on There's three different shacks, of, and that's our tip. And every single one of them only has West. So there's... <laughs> you, know. you, you got, you know, less than one in three chance, really. Uh -huh. Let's think about it. Uh -huh. uh, West Elizabeth, I like those ones because they're going east, and you can cut them off of the river. Or yep. tall trees. Uh -huh. They're either cutting across the plains or they're going up through tall trees. And most of them like to go up through tall trees. Uh, if they take one from Thieves Land and you're in Blackwater, you have a good chance of being able to meet them as they make their way across. Lemoyne to West Elizabeth is nice as well. Cause... Aye, because they are going to usually cross barge crossing because they don't have much time. Yeah, they're going to go through the uh, rig station there one way or another. Uh, aye, it's it's that or they'll, they'll go... Uh, aye, they'll try and bypass it, but... 
They can, if they really want to, they can go near the Valentine and near uh, Strawberry. And that's how they bypass Rig Station. I hear something. That was like a horse, though. Probably just a horse, eh? No. Yeah. Only give it a couple more minutes because it did take us a few to get out here, but. Most likely they picked one of the other two routes. <laughs> but here's what they can do here, right? They can come from the Wildflower and they can take up a second shine delivery to Thieves Landing from here. Pojo? How's it going? Is it Pojo or Pojo or Poho? Never know. Never know ho. The first one. Pojo. Okay. Oh, of course, it's starting to rain. Hey, uh, well, I think uh, we've done our due diligence. Aye. You, you know, actually, a good place to wait, and probably better, uh, better hey. likelihood than this one. As going yeah, to right. the woodcutters camp. Woodcutters camp. Mm -hmm. I've I've mm, almost tripped on them by accident there. You know, we're just riding out and then happen to collide with them. Right. Uh, and also, I used to cut wood there, and I would see them blow through there all the time. Reminds me of the time uh, six of us were riding from Blackwater to Rhodes for something entirely different, and uh, <laughs> got me. Uprides this poor bastard. We didn't even see the tip. We'll just see this fella riding up <laughs> with a covered wagon, jangling about. Uh huh. And uh, well, we had we had seen that there was something going off, but we were heading for something else. Uh huh. And he just ran right into us. <laughs> And he pretty much just put his hands up, called it the day. <laughs> well, I, uh, I was in roads and I got an alert for run, one come from Lemoyne. And so I was like, okay, I'm just going to try cutting, you know, sort of towards the swamps and see if I happen to find him. Mm -hmm. I went out of town and they basically crested the hill right there and they were trying so hard to avoid me, they broke their wagon. <laughs> <laughs> and then he took off running. Fully masked up, you know, like horns and stuff on his head. Uh, where do we want to go? Uh, I'll probably just back to Valentine because I'll head back to, to Rose Valentine. Then. Okay. I think back with us down in Blackwater, I might go join him. You know my shortcut from here, eh? Uh, to the left, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take it because uh, I like it. It's sort of fun, uh, blowing new recruits' minds going this way. Oh, really? Okay. Oh. That was a... Uh... Did it I kill it? Well, hidden, to be well, I'm gonna go grab it because I just. <laughs> oh, did you take it out? I hit completely, completely down the stair. Oh. <clears throat> oh, or never mind. That's uh, that's sickly. It's cursed. Something's wrong with it. So that makes sense. Yep. Oh, it's kind of slow for me right now, but you know. Like somebody put a taxidermy deer in the middle of the field or something. Pretty much. 
Well, the way you'd go to the bother of taxidermy and something and then leaving it out there. Howdy. Howdy. Headache. Oh dear. I'll wait for him. <laughs> that that shout. Not Tommy Two Snakes and Adelaide. Tommy, Adelaide, is that both of you? That uh, sorry, if you're speaking, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Oh yeah, I can. Can you hear me now? Oh yeah, I, I can. I can hear you now. Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. This well, is my friend good. Saffron. Hey, how you doing? Oh, uh, yeah. It's so good to see you, Miss Saffron. It's been a long while, hasn't mm -hmm. it? Hasn't it? Howdy, Adelie. Howdy to me. Hi. It's good to see you still kicking and uh, really making a name for yourself, ain't you? Don't she look so plump? I told her that. She looks so healthy. Yeah, she surely been feeding herself well. She must be making all the money, ain't she, darling? Mm -hmm. What tree? You well, you look shot. good. I what miss you, friend. Like? Yeah, you look like one of them Saint Denis ladies. Plump really? as gump, I think is what they say. I don't spend too mm -hmm. much time down in Saint Denis, but sure, I'll take it. Yeah, but they all rich ladies down there and they eat everything every day. They every sure do. Minute. They don't stop eating. <laughs> oh, not that I'm talking about you, Saffron. No, we ain't talking about you specifically. Uh-huh. It's so good to see you again. Right. You're staying out of trouble. Sure I am. I sure so hope you got so. Your hands on any reports that ever came in. Ain't none of them having time with two snakes on it. Mm. Let them come. Yeah, all right. It was just good to see you. All right, just saying hello. That's all. We'll let you. You working something? You need some help? Oh, no. Uh, the sheriff just had a wee bit of a headache coming in town, so I'm waiting for him to uh, clear his head. Uh, well, you don't have to be so shy. Hey, you know, you let that deputy car know I I have no interest in him no more. I'm not good enough for him, then forget him. Are I you, don't know who are he you is. dating Tommy Get now? Him. I'm sorry? Are you dating Tommy now? Oh, I mean, that's my business. Uh huh. That's what it is, ain't it, darling? Oh my goodness. <laughs> sure is. Okay. Not that y'all care. Y'all look down on people like us. That's what they do. Oh, we never have ever looked down on you. I thought we yes, were friends. Do. We are. Muck. But, Muck but on the bottom of their boots. That's what that's it right. is. Well, I definitely don't consider anyone to be that. Yeah, surely. You're right there, Christensen. Yep, uh, he ran off, so I had to get my other horse from the stable here in a second. Oi. Yeah, that's great. You two enjoy yourself out here, all right? It surely was good to see you again, Miss Saffron. See you. Good to see that life found a way for you. Ha! Uh -huh. Bye now. T 
take care. Yeah, take care, would you? Well, uh, her other boyfriends end up dead, so uh, this isn't too much of a negative. Wasn't it? Was it Ellie? That is Adelie. Aye. Right. Uh, oh, she's taking attention to two snakes? Mm hmm. Wasn't she chasing Kai earlier? Uh huh. She, she just said, You tell that deputy Kai that I've no, I'm no longer interested in him. Uh, if he doesn't want me, then he can't have me or something. I, I'm sure he will be heartbroken. Aye, he's, he's going to be devastated. We need to break the news gently to him. Torn oh, to bits. Just... I wish he was around. So